Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I was trying to do a different intro there. I don't know if it worked. If you're new, welcome. My name is Mozala Torre. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as long as you promise to always keep it positive and to be kind to one another. Always. Um, today I'm continuing the color series. The last color I did was yellow. Basically what these videos are, it's me showing you how to pair your makeup with a specific colored outfit. So if you haven't guessed it, today's color is blue. This is a really weird shade of blue. I don't know what you would exactly categorize it as, but it's blue. And blue is one of those colors that can be really difficult and I think a lot of people opt for like the nude lip option or just gloss because blue is such a overpowering color, overbearing color. Um, it's definitely something that stands out, so you tend to hold back on the makeup. However, the other day I was wearing this top and it's quite extravagant, it's fluffy, it's like, you know, bam, bam. It's a statement top and instead of doing a nude lip or scaling back the makeup, I decided to do this bold berry lip and I just fell in love with this look. Your guys' reaction on Instagram stories was priceless. Everyone was like, oh my god, this is like my favorite look ever. So here I am today to create the look for you guys. Uh, Sephora Collection is sponsoring today's video with their new I Love eyeshadow palettes. They are such cute little palettes. There are six eyeshadow palettes ranging from colorful to neutral. I decided to use the light warm eyeshadow palette. This one right here. It was just the perfect palette to use for this look. Plus these only retail for $14 at Sephora. You can't beat that. Uh, so if you guys want to see how to pair your makeup with a uh, blue top, blue dress, keep on watching. I've already used the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer to prime my skin, which is giving me this really nice glow. And I thought I would go for a really, really glowy, fresh finish to the skin. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. <laughs> I don't know why I just paused there. Um, I never realized that this was a medium to full coverage foundation. I thought it was a light coverage, but regardless, it gives a really, really nice finish. I'm using the shades Almond and Golden Beige. I'd like to think that I'm Golden Beige, but I think it's still a little dark, so I have to mix a bit of Almond in to tone it down. So I always apply my foundation with my fingertips first and then further blend it out with a beauty blender. I'm also gonna be using this foundation on my eyelids as an eyeshadow base. Wow, I forgot how nice this foundation is. It looks so fresh. Especially with that primer, it just gives me like a really, really nice, even full cover. It definitely looks more full coverage to me, but still glowy and fresh. I really, oh my gosh, I forgot about this foundation. <gasps> so good. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. There's so many shades in this concealer that match me, but I'm going to be using the shade Café Con Leche, which tends to be my go-to color right now. So I'm going to use this concealer to highlight the center of the face but because this foundation is so full coverage i'm going to apply this concealer just underneath my eyes and then blend out whatever's left over everywhere else on the center of the face to keep the skin feeling light and airy and fresh i'm going to use a talc free powder i'm going to be using the one from hourglass it's called the veil translucent setting powder i'm going to use this down the center of my face and i think everywhere else i'm going to go in with a light layer of this Armani Beauty Neo Nude Fusion Powder in shade number four. It's not shimmery, it's not like a highlight, but it definitely has a nice reflect to it, a nice glow, so it's going to further enhance that fresh look that I'm going for on the rest of the face versus completely mattifying it with a translucent powder. I'm gonna do something out of the ordinary and highlight next. I usually save this for like an in-between step after bronzing and maybe I'll highlight next, then blush or bronzer blush, highlight at the end, but to create that all over glow, I'm gonna highlight with this Artist Couture Summer Haze Diamond Glow Powder. It's so pretty. The name is very, very fitting. And um, it is a loose highlighter, so it's really versatile. You can use it however it is that you would like. Um, and I'm just gonna sweep it across the high points of the face. That way when I'm adding bronzer, doing my shadow and blush, it's all going to just kind of blend really nicely together. And to highlight, I'm gonna be using this uh, Sephora Pro Fan Detail Brush to really hit the high points of the face. I normally use like a really fluffy brush, but because it's a loose highlight, I don't want to get like too crazy with it because it can kind of end up, you know, like your whole face will be highlighted if you use too big of a brush. 
Whereas this one's like a really nice dense fan brush so I can just sweep it where needed. So I always start with the tops of the cheeks. Look at that color, it's so beautiful. So add it there and then this fan also fits onto the brow bone above the brow. And you guys kind of know the drill for everywhere else. I like this brush almost kind of like does the work for you. It highlights where needed, use like the very end. You can even use the very top of the brush to hit the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, keep its bow. And then I'm gonna take that same large brush I was using to apply the Armani powder and blend it out. So this is a better technique to get that all over glow versus going in with this and trying to highlight because you would end up highlighting, like I said, areas that you don't wanna highlight and blending it out afterwards or softening it is gonna give it a much nicer finish and nice reflect. So keeping the glow where you want it to be. And now I can go in with bronzer. I need to get the larger size of this Fenty Beauty bronzer. It's called Shady Biz. Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. It's a really, really nice bronzer and it came, I think they launched a bunch of travel size makeup products for summer and I got this little bronzer and it's just like the perfect color. I'm going to use this Sephora Pro Contour Brush to contour and bronze at the same time because it's the perfect shade where it's not gonna be too orangey, it's not shimmery, it's matte, so you can contour and bronze at the same time, especially with this brush. The brush just fits so perfectly in those areas that you wanna contour, especially the cheeks. So I'm just kind of pressing it into the hollows and then sweeping up and then into the hairline. I'm also gonna use this bronzer on the sides of the nose and underneath my lower lip to make it look nice and juicy for ya. I've been trying to really carve out this area like Sandra Deluxe, I believe is how you say her Instagram handle. I always love the way it looks and then I always feel like it looks crazy but it does photograph really nicely like this right here, you know? What do you guys think, is it weird? Blush, I know for a fact I'm gonna be doing a plum lip so I want my blush to have the same undertone. That's always my number one rule when it comes to blush and lip colors, the tone needs to match for your makeup to look cohesive. So I pulled all these buxom ones. I feel like this one might be too brown and then this one might be too pink. So I'm left with these two. This is the shade Dolly. And I'm gonna apply it with this Sephora Pro Small Blush. Sephora brushes are actually really, really nice, guys. If you haven't checked them out, the shape of them is nice, the quality is great, and I don't think they're that expensive in comparison to some other brushes. So test them out next time you're at a Sephora. And it's gonna look a little crazy right now because I obviously don't have any eye makeup on and it looks strong, but I always soften it out with that large powder brush. But with the blue shirt, it just really pops. It looks the blush tones with that shade of like periwinkle blue um, is just so pretty. And then if you do feel like you ever go overboard, this is where foundation powders always come in handy because they can tone down anything. So I'm gonna pick up some more of the uh, Armani powder, I was gonna say bronzer, and I'm gonna sweep it at the beginning of the cheek right here because I feel like I added a little too much right here. And then before going onto the eyes, I'm gonna miss myself with the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Whew, that is a long name. But I'm gonna miss myself just to let everything melt in while I work on the eyes, and I'll meet you guys when I'm all zoomed in. For that shirt, I wanted a super naked eye, but overly glowy. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to look glossy without having to put gloss on my eyes. So when looking at all the different I Love palettes from the Sephora collection, the one that I thought was perfect for this look is the one that is called the Light Warm Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this, it's got the gold writing on it, and when you open it up, it just has the perfect soft um, warm eyeshadows in here. This is an all over base shadow, some shimmers, and then mattes. And I'm gonna use a variety of these to um, create this nude eye. So even though it's a nude eye, I'm still gonna use a variety of the colors to add dimension and give it a really cool effect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, lightly dust the crease with the base eyeshadow to prevent creasing because remember, all I used was my foundation as my base. So it is gonna crease a bit and you don't want that to happen throughout the day. So I like to pat it out with my Beauty Blender and then right into that crease of the eye, I'm gonna take the base eyeshadow onto a Sephora Pro Blending Number 27 brush. Just lightly press it on there so that we don't get creasing. I still like to leave the lid bare because I want that tackiness to really bring out the color in the shimmery eyeshadows. You can also add a little extra eyeshadow right here 
So that way when you're blending the eyeshadow out, it blends out really seamlessly into the rest of the skin. But make sure not to cover up that beautiful highlight on the cheeks. Just right here is perfect. With that same brush, I'm going to take this eyeshadow right here, the lightest brown, and toss it into the crease and just really diffuse it out and use that as the crease color. So we start out here, press it in, and then start blending it in towards the rest of the crease. And then with a brush that has a similar shape, it's just like a little more narrow, it's not as fluffy as the other one, this is a Sephora Pro Shadow number 14 brush. I'm going to apply that same shadow to the lower lash line. And I don't want it to look like I have a ton of shadow on the lower lash line because I do want the eye to appear a little more naked. So afterwards, I'm going to go in and really blend it out on the crease and the lower lash line to make it look a lot softer. And to blend everything out, I'm using a Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush number 19. Now for the really fun part, we're going to be almost over highlighting the eye but I have some specific instructions for you guys so first of all we're gonna take our fingertip and pick up this middle shade right here and apply it to the eyelid blending it up towards that crease color and then with a flat brush this is a Sephora Pro Packing Shadow Brush we're gonna do exactly that we're gonna pack the shadow on to this inner part of the eye to create a really cool glossy effect so that same color but this time on a brush we're gonna pick it up you can also wet it if you'd like. I'm going to go in with it dry first, and then if I feel like I need to, I'm going to wet it. You can see it goes on really nicely without having to wet it. And we're going to use this or apply it on the inner corner and then sweep it into this pocket right here like that. It's going to create this super cool effect that almost looks, like I said, like a glossy eye. So inner corner and then sweeping it into this pocket. And with that same brush, I'm going to pick up this lighter shimmery shade over here and really concentrate it on the center of the lash line to create an additional little extra glow if you will and there you go i'm gonna miss myself again with the hangover rx spray if you want a little more smokiness especially along the lash line you can go in with the darkest shade of brown right here and a small eyeshadow brush this is a sephora pro small shadow brush <laughs> number 15 and you're just gonna run this color along the lash line, really, really tight to the lash line to create a subtle smokiness. We're trying to create the illusion that we have almost nothing on our eyes, so the brown is gonna work perfectly. And I'm not taking this eyeshadow all the way in, I'm just keeping it to this outer corner. And I'm not gonna add it to the lower lash line because that can look like a little too much. So I pack it on and then I just sweep it back and forth to soften out that eyeshadow. That is it for these eyes. I'm just gonna add mascara. I'm gonna be using Climax by NARS. I'm gonna use some brow gel, the Anastasia brow gel, and I definitely love to brush the brow hairs up to create more of that effortless feathered brow. For the grand finale, I had to put the top on for you guys. You can get the full effect. And I wanted to share one tip with you guys. If you ever see a top like this that maybe doesn't look that cute on the rack, the top is from Zara. When I linked it on my Instagram stories, everyone was like, wow, that top looks so ugly in the photo, but you made it look so cute. So this is my trick with tops that are button ups that have collars that maybe don't look that cute on the rack or if you just toss it on and you're like, mm, I don't know. The trick is leave it unbuttoned, pick it up and just tie it and it immediately goes from drab to fab in two seconds. This looks a lot more sexy. If you wanna wear it the other way, that's fine as well. I agree for me, um, with it not tied up, it didn't look as cute, especially because I'm so petite. I felt like the shirt was eating me, the shirt was wearing me. And you can also like tuck this too so it doesn't just hang there. So it looks more like that when you're wearing it. I'm also wearing these silicone cover-ups by Hollywood Fashion Secrets so that I could go topless because I tried wearing a nude bra and it looked weird, black bra looked weird, cute bralette looked weird, nipple covers. So with a shirt this vibrant, you could be a little more predictable and just toss on a nude lip, call it a day. However, we're gonna be more daring and do a color pairing that might seem weird, but paired with this shade of blue, it is just stunning. So. The color that you want to use is like a berry plum, not too dark, not too red, just like the perfect shade of berry. This is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. I absolutely love this formula. I have a nude one that I talk about all the time. I think it's shade number two. Um, I will link it down below for you guys. This is shade number 14. 
and the formula is just so good. I don't think it even requires a lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it, and if I feel like I need a lip liner, I'll add one, but usually with this formula, I can pull off just applying the liquid lip and not adding a liner. That is all for today's video. I feel like this is the fastest I've ever filmed a makeup tutorial. Maybe because I've already worn this look, so I already knew what I was doing. But I love everything about this. I hope you guys love it as well. Like I said, this I Love uh, palette from the Sephora collection is so perfect for this look. This lip color, this formula from the cream lip stains is just phenomenal. Um, so I hope that this helped you guys out if you are ever wearing a strange shade of blue like this. Honestly, what would you guys call this? Powdered blue, periwinkle, chalk blue, blue blue? I hope this gave you some more ideas as to what you can do with your makeup when wearing the color blue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the drill. Give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you know, oh, my God. <laughs> I've had too much caffeine already. Not like I need another sip of this or anything. And what is that peanut butter? Pfft. Oh my god, my mustache. <coughs>